Let's talk about mixed fractions and mixed numbers real quickly. They're the same thing, mixed fractions and mixed numbers. Um, let's look at this one right here in the blue. One and three quarters is basically a whole number and a proper fraction combined. Okay, some more examples down here at the bottom. You have two and three eighths. You have seven and one fourth or one quarter. Anytime you see a four in the denominator, sometimes you might hear a quarter. Four quarters are in a dollar. They use four and they'll say quarter. So seven and one quarter or seven and one fourth. Then you have one and 14 fifteenths, 21 and four fifths. Okay, they're all made up of whole numbers and proper fractions. Um, it is also, uh, you want to make a note that this whole number there, it's also an integer as well. Some teachers may say integers, other teachers may say whole numbers. Whole numbers are a little bit more simple. All right, for um, mixed numbers, there's a name for everything, of course. You have your numerator that's on top of the fraction, the denominator that's on the bottom, and then you have your whole number, which is on the left-hand side. There's three types of fractions. You have your proper fractions, which is, it, it's proper, it's in between zero and one, and the numerator is smaller than the denominator. With your improper fraction, the numerator is actually larger than the denominator. And then, of course, your mixed fraction that we just talked about with your whole number, and then your fraction together. So we can use either an improper fraction or a mixed fraction to show the same amount. For example, one and three quarters, or one and three fourths, is the same as seven fourths, or seven quarters, just like it is here in this pizza. So you have one whole pizza there, right here, and then you have three slices, one, two, three slices. So you have one and three fourths, three out of four. It's the same thing as seven fourths. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're all sliced up in fours from the whole. All right, it's the same thing, it's the same amount, the same value. So what we're going to do, we're just going to convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. And the way you do that is you multiply the whole number times the denominator, and then you add the numerator. And once you've done that, you just put the total on top of the denominator. All right, so here's an example, three and two fifths. All right, so what we do is we take this whole number, three, Let's put it over here. Three and two fifths. My writing is not very good. That's okay. Ugh, good. All right. Three whole number times five. All right. That is 15. Okay. And what do we do after that? We're going to add two plus two. All right, and that is going to equal 17, and there it is. Okay, if it's going too fast, just hit pause and process all of this great mathematical information. All right, here's the last slide. All right, I really like this one uh, because it makes a design kind of like what I tried to do over here, but this one looks a lot better. Okay, so three times five plus two, that is gonna turn your mixed fraction into an improper fraction. And when we're calculating in math, you always wanna use improper fractions whenever possible. It makes life so much easier. Okay, so if you get stuck, just take a look at this uh, presentation and hopefully it will get you on your way. Hey, good job.